Many animals perform circular shape motions that in swarms often lead to vortex-type structures. One only has to think of a school of fish or a flock of birds descending on a roost tree, among other examples. In some cases, these motions are induced by the presence of predators. In others, the animals are responding to light, for example, as moths do. But what specifically can cause animals that ordinarily move in random directions to begin circular-like motions? And when large numbers are present, as in swarms, what can cause them to begin to circle all in the same direction that is to form a vortex? The theory of active Brownian particles due to Warner Aveling and Udo Erdmann at Humboldt University in Berlin successfully describe these motions. Agents or particles can store energy in a reservoir that they find by foraging for food, yet the foraging motions expend energy. A further constant drain is required by the agent's metabolism. The dissipation is dependent on the velocity as shown here. Two motions are the result of the active Brownian particle theory, noisy fixed point shown on the left, and two symmetric limited cycles in the xy plane as seen on the right. The limit cycles are the circulating motions. Clockwise and counterclockwise directions are equally probable. But if the conditions are right, we sometimes see that all Daphnia spontaneously decide to move in the same direction, creating a vortex motion. Swarms of large density and, of course, the light shaft favor this formation. In the theory, vortex motion cannot occur without breaking the symmetry of the pair of limit cycles. The mechanism is unknown, but two possibilities are suggested. The first is called avoidance. It simply means that the animals do not like to bump into one another and they try to avoid that happening. Avoidance can be modeled in the theory with a short-range repulsive potential between animal pairs. The second is called velocity alignment. It may mean that individuals like to align their velocity directions with those of their near neighbors. In this example, both the animals and the water are moving, a process we call biohydrodynamics. This movie shows a clockwise vortex with developing spiral arms. This movie shows a counterclockwise vortex that breaks up into two when the light shaft is moved. One of the vortices spontaneously changes direction. Simulations of the active Brownian particle theory predict these motions with either avoidance or velocity alignment mechanisms as the symmetry breakers. 